Hello, artists. We are going to talk about making a 3D relief sculpture. So here is my finished sculpture that I made earlier. I used cardboard and model magic and some paint. If you don't have those things, that's totally fine. We're going to make it work with other supplies. Um, if you do want to find cardboard, maybe like a cereal box would be a good idea to cut apart or ask somebody at home for help with that. Right now, I'm just going to use a piece of paper and I think it'll still work pretty well. So my paper is very small. It's about five inches square. Last class, we drew a portrait of an animal that we chose that we feel we have a connection with. So I chose the penguin. I just did a simple sketch of the penguin facing forward on this paper. So now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna use Model Magic. This would also work with um, air dry clay or Play-Doh if you have it. Other 3D materials would work great. And I'm gonna use about two packs of Model Magic. So if you picked up supplies um, at Autumn Creek earlier, that's about what I used for mine. So first I'm just gonna get this one pack nice and flat. So it's about as thick as a pencil, maybe a little skinnier I would say. And I'm using my palm to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to make these shapes first. So you can cut model magic or you can use your hands to sculpt. I think I want to cut for my first shape because I want a circle. So what I'm trying to do first is just make the shape of my animal. I'm not worrying about the features yet. I'm not worried about his nose and the parts that are going to stick up. First, I'm just going to get down a nice flat shape. So I made a circle for his head. So I just flattened it and cut out a circle and I'm sticking it onto this surface. Model Magic does work pretty well if you stick it onto something like paper or cardboard, it just sticks. If not, you can always glue it. But I'm also gonna kind of pinch and pull and shape this piece because I kind of want to make like his shoulders too so it's not just a floating head portrait. So now I have sort of the start of my model magic. I'll hold up so you can see a little better. Right now we have one layer. So a relief is when a sculpture is flat on one side and the other side that you're supposed to look at, the side to view, has some areas that pop out. So let's look at this guy to remember all those areas I need to create. I'm gonna make this sort of nose shape, kind of like his head and nose. So I'm gonna roll my model magic into a sphere, so a 3D circle shape. You can always roll things into a sphere and squish them flat and pinch and pull to make your shapes. I'm gonna flatten this a little bit with my fingers just pinching. And I wanna cut some sides out. I think I'm going to cut kind of like a T shape out of here. So for me, that means I'm gonna cut to make more a more similar shape to this. And then I can also use my fingers to kind of pinch and pull. So that looks like that might be a little bit too big, so you can pinch and pull off some. And here is the next layer of my penguin. So it's starting to stick out even more. I do still have to make a beak and some eyes. So let's start with eyes. I'm going to use tiny little pinches of model magic and roll them into small little spheres first. Pinch them flat into little cookies. So now I have these two little tiny cookies and I'm gonna put those eyes right here and stick them on. I'm gonna add another little tiny, tiny sphere. Super teeny tiny and flatten. We wanna build all these pieces of our penguins. I'm sorry, it could be something else too. Your animal's face. So I have the start. I need to make this nose that sticks up. I have a piece that's already kind of the shape I want, but let's pretend like I didn't. So I'm like, how do I make this nose? Start with a sphere, squish to flatten, and then now I'm going to pinch one side. So now I have this shape that really pushes out because I want his nose to really stick out. So let's trim it a little so it's not too big. I'm going to push that on. So now I have all the basic shapes of my penguin, and I'm going to use a pencil to add some texture. Texture is how something feels. So I'm imagining that my penguin feels a little bit slick and maybe a little furry. So I'm gonna add just some little lines 
all over here. Now you can see the lines, but really what we wanna do is push in. You can see it because I'm using a pencil, but a toothpick or a skewer would work well for this. We wanna push in so you can't just see them. You can also kind of feel them. Something else I wanna add for texture is I'm gonna add some little spots in his eyes. The last thing that I wanna to do to really make this feel finished is I wanna make a frame around my penguin. So I have a pretty good size of model magic in my hands and I'm gonna roll it into a coil. A coil is like a long skinny rope of clay. So to do that, I am rolling this strip from my fingertips all the way down to the palm, bottom of the palm of my hand. And you can see mine got a little bit too long for me to work with. So I had to rip it in half and I'm gonna make a skinny coil and kind of press that around my penguin. Oh, it's getting so long. All right, so my frame is gonna go around the edge. I have to make sure I push that onto the paper because that's not wanting to stick for me. I might have to add a little glue. I'm gonna pinch my corners and keep pressing that around and around and around. It looks like I just need a tiny bit more. Really make sure to push this part down onto your paper or cardboard to make sure it's not popping off. You can always add some glue underneath too if it really isn't gonna stick. All right, I have my frame completed. Now maybe you wanna add some texture to your frame. Maybe you wanna roll some other little decorative pieces, maybe make some little spheres to put around your frame or add some other type of pattern. But that is as far as we're going to get this week with our 3D relief sculpture. So make sure you have texture, make sure you have 3D shapes popping up, and make sure your model magic is stuck on to whatever surface that you're working on. All right, happy creating third grade.